guys and welcome back to another train simulator video. Today we're going to be doing a very interesting scenario called Wimbledon Open. We will be starting at Clapham Yard, going to Waterloo, then back to Hampton Court and then back to Wimbledon. So it's going to be a very interesting and fun uh, scenario to play. So yeah, let's get started. Forward to the washer at 5 miles an hour, you'll have to tab two times for two red ground signals. Try and stay at 5.5 miles an hour by going to power 2 and then back to 0. Okay then. to 4, that's on the lights. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, it's going to be quite laggy at the beginning of this video as there's a lot of AI trains at Clapham Junction. So we are going to be going via Clapham Junction Wash, uh, what is it, Wash Road Sidings 2. Then we're going to be going to London Waterloo to pick up some passengers. Then we're going to be stopping at Wimbledon Platform 7. Picking up passengers from Hampton Court. Picking up passengers at Surbiton, Rainers Park and then letting those passengers off at Wimbledon so they can go and watch the tennis. I would go outside now, but it is quite laggy, so I think it's best if we just stay in the cab. Guess we can go outside a little bit. Leaving the Clapham uh, yard sidings. A bit different to our normal start of the scenario, so really, really cool to do. And you can see how laggy it is. Nothing I can do about it. I think there's a bit too much AI at Clapham Junction. I have turned the graphic settings a lot to the very bottom as well, so there's nothing much more I can do. I think once we leave uh, Clapham Junction, it'll be a relief. We do have a 15 mile hour speed limit coming up very soon, so that's a relief. Kind of want to get out of Clapham Junction as soon as possible. Fortunately, we're, we are restricted to 5 miles an hour, so that's a bit annoying. Surely it can't be just 5 miles an hour up until the wash, surely. I feel like this is a bit slow. I'm not too sure in, in, in real life it would be this slow coming out the sidings. Maybe like 10 miles an hour would be reasonable, but 5 miles an hour seems very slow. Do have a 377 there? I think my last platform 16, I believe. If it is the platform 16 service, then that will be going to Milton Keynes Central, which is a train I take. But we're almost at the 15 mile hour speed limit. Slow and steady. Um. Oh, I know I done it wrong. I forgot to clear the what you call it. Um, the red signal. It did tell us to clear the two red signals and I completely forgot about the first one so emergency brakes slow down the train to a halt so I have done the one ahead of us so that shouldn't happen again. I actually completely forgot about that. I 
that's interesting. Why is there a 377 there? I think that's been used to replace the class 378 London All Ground service. As I guess the all for the scenario doesn't own the 378. We're just gonna be passing the uh, Clapham Junction Wash and heading to London Waterloo, which should be around five miles from here, I believe. Almost there. Go up to 10 miles now, but he went back to only 5 miles now, so I guess we have to go 5 miles now through the wash, which is I'm not too happy about. I will be honest with you guys, this is really slow. At least the lag is a little bit less as we are slowly departing our Clapham Junction. I'm gonna attempt to just speed a bit, just to get this done a bit faster. It's quite a long journey just to go f uh, at 5 miles an hour. Oh yeah, almost there. I guess it, the train does have to go 5 miles an hour through the wash just to make sure it gets cleaned properly. And again, it will get dirty very soon anyway, so... I don't think it's... Should be this slow through the washer, in my opinion. I think 10 miles an hour should be okay. So, once we get to London Waterloo, then we're going to be stopping at Wimbledon and I guess um, picking up passengers who have finished watching the tennis, I guess, and then picking up passengers from uh, Hampton Court, Rainus. Rainers Park in Zerbiton to go back and watch the tennis, I guess. I was kind of thinking we're going to be taking passengers from Waterloo to Hampton Court and then taking it to Wimbledon. So we're almost there. It's a very slow process to wash this train, that's for sure. Especially if you, have a, if you had a really long train, like a 12 car train, and you had to wash it like that, that would take a very long time. S slowly does it. You need to be clean during Wimbledon Open, Fortnite, and off to Waterloo Platform 14. To be fair, our train looks very clean anyway, so. As you can see, so I don't think our train needs a wash, anyways. Can't hurt to wash it again.
There's a train all the way there though. What is that train doing? No idea. That's coming from the Stratford branch where the old gun trains uh, run. So I'm guessing they're also using class 4 5 eyes as uh, old gun services. To be fair, the 370s are going to be replaced. But I believe it's the 707s or 717, the new old gun trains. I did see some at Bulls and Junction sidings. They look actually really nice from the front of it. Obviously, I have the same livery, but I really like the look of it from the front. A bit surprised we're getting new old gun trains this soon because the three seventies are pretty new anyway. So then again, can't hurt with new trains, you know. Maybe we'll have a better seating plan or something. I don't know. Longer trains would be nice. So probably got like a half a mile towards our 15 mile hour speed limit, then we should be able to pick up speed. On to Waterloo. Yeah, our whole train is past the bush anyway, so the three of speed limit should go up now. I have no idea how tempted I am to speed in this uh, situation. Where's the 50 mile out speed limit? There it is. It's so close, but it's gonna take a very long time to get there because we're going so slow. It's still lagging quite a bit actually, so there must be a lot of AI trades in this scenario. And it's a 455. Very nice. It doesn't really say what service that is. But if you go to Waterloo, now you can see how many trains are at Waterloo. Holy damn, look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 8 or 9 trains at Waterloo, so it's going to get very busy. Just about half our train is past uh, 15 mile hour speed limit, so we are very close. We haven't sp sped yet, so that's actually a good thing. Almost there. Okay, so this one says we're stopping at Wimbledon, but we're not picking up passengers at Wimbledon, so... That's interesting. Why would you stop at Wimbledon anyway? If we're not going to pick up passengers, I wonder why. Probably more, makes more sense to just go through Wimbledon. And we should be able to get up to speed now. Any second now. There we go. That feels so much better, you know, seriously. This speed limit should go a bit up to maybe like 30, 40, there we go, 60 miles, let's get going. 
No time to lose. There's no ETAs for any of the tasks, so... Should be a clean run, hopefully. Frick, just over 3 miles to London mostly. I didn't say London Waterloo instead of Waterloo Platform 14. I'm pretty sure when we go to London Victoria, it says London Victoria Platform or whatever, I think. I believe so. I have done the viewing distance very low, so that's why you're saying floating in the air. And you won't see it until we actually reach right next to it. Just get a bit more FPS in the scenario. <laughs> Passing Queenstown Road. Now I know I've been doing a lot of scenarios and videos on this brand new route, but it's a route I've been waiting for a very long time, and that's the reason why I'm doing so many videos on it. But I will soon do our other videos on different routes. I'm sure this is getting a bit boring of me driving the same route and the same trains over and over again for the last couple of weeks. I do have a plan, maybe a few more scenarios on this route, and then I'm going to be going to uh, play some different uh, scenarios, different routes, and different trains. And it does get quite repetitive. Laggy will be one of the ones we have to go to the My guess is why laggy. So hopefully some of the servants have their party to do by the time we reach there. Green signal to us, so we're good to go. I think it should be a clean run. As this scenario is a 55 minute scenario. We did probably spend like 20 minutes at the beginning going 5 miles an hour anyway, so... My guess is like, half the scenario is already done. Even though we haven't even done the first task, which is obviously... Actually, we've done the first task, but the second one we haven't even done yet, so... London's busiest terminal, I believe it is. Uh, I think that's a red signal actually. Is it? Yes, it is. yellow now so I think we're good.
There's actually a 450 in the old Hero Star platform as well. Nice to see. Normally our train will be terminating in Waterloo, but today we are just starting our journey actually. I don't think I'll bother too much going right to the end of the platform, so we'll stop here. Since we're not going to be terminating at, at this uh, platform. The whole train's on the platform anyway, so it's all good. Okay, let's pick up some passengers and... Put this to... Uh, off, is it? No, oh, you can't do off. Okay, we'll just put neutral in. I can put this off though. And let's switch cabs, uh, if I remember how to. Um, control equals, I believe. Yes, it is. There you go. Change cabs and depart at 7.18. Tab a few times just out, out of the station to cross over the tracks to the left hand side. Uh, next stop Wimbledon platform 7 is at the far end of the platform under the bridge to pick up a driver. Okay, we're picking up a driver at Wimbledon, not as passengers. Interesting. Now it says depart at 7.18, so we'll wait for 8, 7.18, then we depart. So I have tried to change the destination board, but it um, doesn't seem to be working for me, so we'll have to keep that not in service. I did try this in some other scenarios as well, and it wasn't letting me, so... Maybe whatever the author chooses it to be at the beginning, it just stays like that, or something, I'm not too sure. Transmitter to the park, mine the doors. We have a 450. That looks like a service in Reading. This is on the far uh, right hand platform. And we have a 455, like us.
did tell us to clear the press tab a few times, so I'm gonna do that. I believe we are switching track. As that train is kind of in our way. driving a 10 car train or something. So Wimbledon is uh, just under 7 miles away. Now we can get back up to speed. So we're going to be going to Wimbledon to pick up our driver, then going all the way to Hampton Court, and then on the way back, we're going to be picking up passengers and terminating at Wimbledon.
do need to slow down to 50 miles an hour very soon, but we should be able to do that even without us actually doing anything as we are dropping speed slowly. miles left to Wimbledon. We will be passing a uh, little field of this and then getting to Wimbledon and then uh, where's Hampton Falls? Hampton was around 7 miles away from Wimbledon and then Thank <laughs> you. 
hit the red signal by ass allowed us to pause it, so I think we should be okay. As you can see, there's a lot of passengers at Wimbledon, which is nice to see. So we're not actually picking up passengers, we're just stopping here. I can't really see the driver. Bit weird. Oh, that's a nice screenshot, I think. Kind of annoyed that this fence is in the way, but anyways. It's kind of ruining the screenshot there. Oh, off to pick up keen tennis fans waiting at Campton Court. Okay then. Let's get going. Time to waste. I'm pretty sure 377s don't go to Wimbledon. Or do they? Um, I actually don't know. I don't think they do. Someone did say Fameling services did go to well, Wimbledon, but I'm pretty sure uh, someone services don't. Well, it might be wrong actually. Someone says that too actually goes with the seems. Only at certain times it seems.
we are going to be going onto the branch line Hampton Court so there's a speed limit change of 30 miles an hour and 35 This is Serbiton Station as the branch line to Hampton Court uh, leaves uh, Serbiton Station. Wait, is that a red signal? Okay, it was a red signal, but we're allowed to go. It seems. <laughs> I've actually been on the Hampton Court branch since the first video I've done on this uh, brand new route. So this is kind of new for me as well. And there's quite a small branch line so... Not many scenarios we do to Hampton Court I guess. I didn't speed up, I have no idea. There's another branch line towards the right hand side, so why were we on the far left platform? No idea. Unless we're going to be switching tracks quite a lot now. Unless it turns out to the left, I'm not too sure. Can't remember. Yeah, I'm to go on that side, so we are gonna be turning this side as I thought. I think we're going above and over, I see. Oh that bridge thing. Interesting. I believe when we did the Hampton Court to our uh, Waterloo service, we didn't actually uh, go over the bridge as we were coming from Hampton Court and going towards Waterloo. But this time we're going towards Hampton Court, so. It's actually really cool. Going above the main line. So, yeah, basically we went down this piece of track. It goes towards Waterloo. We never went. You can only go over the bridge when you're going towards Hampton Court. So that's why I was a bit confused there.
as we go back towards Wimbledon, we will be picking up passengers at Surbiton and Craners Park. Once again, you would expect this train to uh, terminate at Hampton Court, but we're not. First time we're doing two, uh, going to two terminuses and not actually terminating the train there. It's quite funny, think about it. We are picking up passengers here, so let's open the doors. We will be switching to, uh, what do you call it? Cabs again, but until then we can just take a screenshot, you know? Can't quite take a nice screenshot. I guess this is the only one I can probably take. Quite busy at Hampton Court, though. I'm guessing it's not a very busy station. And there's just a small branch line, you know? Change cabs and then depart at 741 for Surbiton. You will be crossing track soon. Okay, you've got two minutes left. Quite a nice station actually. Surbiton. I don't know why it's not labeled Surbiton. Maybe because uh, my graphics are quite low, that's probably why, I'm guessing. Anyways. This is very fiddly, that's for sure. There we go. Change cabs once again. Oops, that's the wrong one. There we go. The lights on. And we are ready to depart once it reaches 7.41. Even though we have a green signal, we will depart on time. Hampton Court, Fair Zone 6. Trains ready to depart, mine doors. Let's get going. Tracks now, as we are on the, I guess, southbound um, piece of track. And we're going back towards London Waterloo. So as we uh, go towards Surbiton, we won't be going over the bridge. We'll be going around around that track where uh, I showed you before. Decisions. 
so that makes sense. Then we have um, Rainus Park and then Wimbledon, which is seven miles away. I want to listen to get a nice screenshot of uh, Serbiton. But I don't want to do the same screenshot in all my thumbnails of Serbiton. You know what I mean? 444 is ready to depart. Probably going all the way to our London Water Luna. Without stopping at any stops. With more tennis fans on, off to Rainer's Park platform too. I think I'm gonna have a race against the 444. Should be fun. And again, I think the 444 has better acceleration anyway, so 
And it can go 100 miles an hour, unlike our train, which is only capable of about 75 miles an hour, so I don't think we're going to be winning this one. And that train shoots it off, literally. That acceleration is crazy, you know. So the next station is Rainer's Park and then we have Wimbledon. Where this train terminates. So we did see a lot of passengers at Wimbledon. We picked up the driver, so I'm guessing there will be a lot more passengers once we do our ramp on the And I can probably like 3 4 minutes time. This train is not in service either, apparently. <laughs> Seems like 
that this train's gonna be waiting for our train to uh, leave before us. It seems like. Yeah. Wimbledon Open next, dropping off tennis supporters, keen for their day. Perhaps watching Federer? Uh, not really. I don't really watch tennis anymore, so I'm gonna go home. Anyone who owns the Isle of Wight routes, um, it does also use uh, that train as the district line stock train in terms of the AI for Wimbledon station. So if you do own that route, then you will see uh, that train on the district line uh, tracks at Wimbledon as AI. But unfortunately, I don't own it, so you won't see any. This game really needs a uh, underground train just to use for all the stations that have underground trains on them, you know? Wow, well, Wimbledon is very busy. Look at that. It's very laggy, that's for sure. How many passengers as I thought there would be? Actually, there's a lot of passengers here though. Let's see this. Here's all the passengers. They're all grouped up together, doing nothing, unfortunately. And all these passengers on this platform. That should conclude this scenario. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We've got some more passengers on the district line platforms. I hope you enjoyed Wimbledon today. That concludes that scenario, I'll give it a thumbs up. Signal pass a danger twice and penalty break applied six times, but that's okay. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, give it a like, share it with friends, and I will see you in my next video. Oh, bye guys.